It's hard to imagine anyone having a better fairy tale start and finish to their college career than Penn State quarterback Sean Clifford. Way back in September 2018, on a rain-soaked night in Pittsburgh, Clifford threw a touchdown on his first collegiate pass. Then, five years later on a rain-soaked night in Pasadena, old man Clifford took home Rose Bowl MVP honors after throwing for 279 yards and two touchdowns in the Nittany Lions' thorough dismantling of Utah. Sandwiched between those after-school special bookend moments, however, sits a heaping pile of helter-skelter, up-and-down, Jekyll and Hyde film. One play, Clifford appears Sunday ready. The next play, he looks better suited to sell pharmaceuticals. In other words, the only thing consistent about Sean Clifford's play at Penn State was how inconsistent it was. After an uninspiring 2021 campaign, Clifford exercised his NCAA COVID eligibility mulligan and returned for his sixth season in hopes of making a Kenny Pickett or Hendon Hooker leap as a passer and a pro prospect. And while this helmet-wearing Van Wilder did post career highs in touchdowns and completion percentage in 2022, Clifford's improvements weren't grand enough to garner day one, day two, or even early day three consideration from NFL teams. Still, there are plenty of reasons for scouts to take a flyer on Clifford. From a physical standpoint, he can make all the throws. Deep balls, far hash to sideline outs, quick release, high velocity, tight window passes through defenders' outstretched arms, throws with touch, delicately dropped between a linebacker and a defensive back, off-platform, out-of-pocket, ad-lib, doesn't matter. In fact, Clifford's often erratic mechanics tend to smooth out when he's on the run and forced to lean on his athleticism to make a play off-schedule. He's what us old heads used to call a gamer, before snot-nosed, foul-mouthed, headset-wearing 13-year-olds mashing buttons on Call of Duty vultured that phrase from us. But just because Clifford can make all the throws doesn't mean he always will. Briefly benched in favor of Will Levis for being too loose with the football in 2020, Clifford seemed to overcorrect from that point on and tried to be ultra-precise when pushing the ball downfield. The result? A boatload of uncatchable passes and plenty of points left on the bone. According to PFF, Clifford's accuracy on passes that traveled further than 20 yards in the air was substantially worse than many of his late-round or undrafted free agent peers in this year's draft. Slow to work through progressions, Clifford tends to lock on his initial read and force low percentage passes into traffic or bolt from the pocket without scanning the field. Earlier in his career, Clifford was hyperactive inside the pocket and tended to drop his eyes at the first hint of pressure, be it real or perceived. And while there was gradual improvement in this area, Clifford never fully nixed that bad habit. Great example. On the second down versus Michigan last season, Clifford prematurely pulls the ripcord, leaves a pressureless pocket, and runs himself into an unnecessary throwaway. On the next play, surrounded by chaos, Clifford calmly steps up into a muddy pocket and delivers an absolute strike to move the chains. That's the yin and yang of Sean Clifford. At Penn State's Pro Day, Clifford ran a noteworthy 4.57 second 40-yard dash, a faster-than-expected time that sparked the idea of whether the battle-tested QB could possibly fill a Taysom Hill, Swiss Army Knife-type role in the NFL. It's an interesting concept, albeit far-fetched. For half of his four years as Penn State's starter, Clifford was the Nittany Lions' most explosive and most elusive ball carrier. A legit dual-threat weapon inside the red zone, Clifford punctuated more than a dozen drives throughout his career with designated QB keepers for six. The question is, is Clifford really that dynamic of a playmaker that a coach would design an entire sub-package to showcase his skills as a runner and a thrower? The answer? Eh, probably not. Ultimately, when it comes to Clifford, what we've seen in a substantial sample size at the college level is likely what we're going to get as he fights to earn a paycheck as a professional, a streaky quarterback who will wow coaches one play and then make them mutter WTF into their headset the next. Because of that proven inconsistency, something's going to need to suddenly click for Clifford if he hopes to not just make an NFL roster or a practice squad, but to simply last until the final round of cuts this preseason. Thank you.